extremely displeased. This was a very, uh, th these were uh, preservationist people mostly. Uh, everybody was very, very upset to see uh, this chunk of history just being uh, demolished. But even though it would be built as a school, that didn't uh, placate them. They, they were very upset that this was happening, this was coming down. It had been uh, so close for so long to coming down and not coming down. So the fact that it finally really was going, people just couldn't believe it. Was I sad to see that? Oh, yeah. I'm always sad to see a piece of history go. It's uh, things that can't replace. I mean, as you go up and down these streets, even, you know, buildings have been replaced where history. I don't think. I'm not crazy about it where I, you know, every old shack and shanty should be saved for posterity, but genuine historic buildings that are beautiful and can be saved should be saved and reused for something else. But, you know, business is business, and uh, nobody was staying in that part of town anymore. Mid Wilshire was no longer a, a desirable location. Back then it was. It was, you know, Bullock's Wilshire was like a big deal. It was, it was the first department store. People came from all around just to go shopping at Bullock's, you know, in one location. And the building is still there. It's not Bullock's anymore, but it's. You can drive by and recognize that it is the building. So those things should be preserved. I think that's the city's character, the city's culture. That's what the ambassador is.